access the database and we can uh, go through what we're seeing. All right. This might be it here. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, so interesting. I mean, you're obviously doing a lot of good work, which you know, because uh, there was only two causal layers, two layers that we could identify, and usually we find more than that, especially, you know, when you're concerned about, you know, deep health issues and all. Uh, so that's awesome. It means you're doing a lot of things right. Uh, okay. it, it may well mean that, that, you know, some of the things that you have been taking, you need to keep taking because this is to see what you need on top of that. So it wouldn't go off of everything. Yeah, uh, on the next test, you could send us samples of what you're taking if you want to, you know, whatever you want to keep Yeah, taking. that's that's always an option. It's also an option uh, to go off of everything for at least 24 hours prior to a test. It's not essential, but if you want to get a, a clear reading on from us, you know, our take on what to continue, what not to continue, what's optional, uh, then if we have those samples and, and they're not in your system, that gives us a, a better yeah. read on what the body's reaction is. All right. So for right now, real simple and nice, I mean, it's kind of two food, two superfoods to add to your diet is the basic thing. Um, okay. you, can, you can do uh, the one step is a, a protein powder. It's not just protein, but it is pre-digested protein that your body can absorb without having to do any digestive action. So that no. gives a rest to the pancreas and the stomach and the small intestine and the, and the liver and the gallbladder so they can rejuvenate and repair uh, okay. while you're taking that. It's, it's considered a cellular cleansing support, not just a digestive cleansing support. And again, it's more than protein. It's got vitamins, minerals, accessory, nutrients, uh, oh, some good. fiber, a little bit of uh, carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a complete... You can live on it. You can live on it. You can... You can there's enough in a bottle for... Mm -hmm. Technically for 30 full meals. Uh, if you're doing a total fast on it, you can do you know more than just... You could do just a single meal fast to start with and see how that is, how, you're, how you do on that. Uh, we often will use just a half a scoop along with a meal at, you know, a time. As, yeah. at a time you know once or twice a day as a supplement uh, but if you're doing sort of a a uh, like they do with food allergies or with you know intensive detoxification doing just this like water in one step uh, you can take it up to five or six times a day basically as often as you feel hungry you take a half a scoop or a scoop I mean they say a scoop but I find you know, I mean, as, our, as we get older, our metabolism slows. We don't need as much. If you're really physically active, you know, if I am, that's when I would take a full scoop. It's like, I'm going to be cutting down trees. I'm taking a full scoop because I'm going to burn it, you know. So you can play with that, feel it out. Uh, Does body weight probably matter? I only weigh 120, so I'm not, like, big. Yeah, body weight with all remedies matters to some degree. So... Yeah, metabolism, you know, your, your, the speed of your metabolism, your body weight, your physical activity all, all will make a difference. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so you can go if you're comfortable with that. And usually people are real, actually, you know, your mind may be Feel clearer. Great. You may have better energy, more stable yeah. energy because you're avoiding all the ups and downs from reacting to foods and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, we had a guy just a few months back who came in with the most excruciating, itchy rash all over his whole body. Yeah. He was ninety percent of his body. He was, was scratched up to like, oh my god! He was sitting there the whole time. He was sitting the with us. He couldn't stop scratching. Uh -huh. So he went on a one-step protein fast along with a couple other his other remedies. With remedies, yeah, yeah. but not no food at all. And was it within one day the itching was gone? Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, it was, oh. it's really magical yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I actually helped. Uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of uh, the fact that I helped to inspire the formula years ago. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, but that's not why it's our favorite. It's our favorite because it works. It works so, so great. well. When I had yeah. a few years back, right after they came out with it, I had a tooth that was halfway out of the socket, and it was a week before the, my dentist could get me in to pull it. So I couldn't close my mouth, so I couldn't chew, except yeah. to, you know, chew on that, that tooth. <laughs> Didn't help. So I was taking only liquids, and this was all I had for about 10 days. And, and I impressed myself with the fact that I was working you know, 10, 12 hour days with patients. My mind was clearer than usual, and my energy was better than usual. And within 24 hours of starting it, there was no dental pain. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a symptom very reliever. Cool stuff. It's really good.
Oh, uh, good. The the other the other remedy in your mix, uh, and that was and that was uh, to balance food sensitivity or food Which was, food uh, allergy yeast, reaction. I think. Yeah. yeah, there were a few foods yeast that showed some sugar. reaction. So you'd want to avoid those in any case. Too. Strawberry, well, that's that's often a, a more severe reaction for some people, and so, I can't eat strawberries. Yeah. Okay. So your body told us that from Oregon to here. I mean, that's why I love this stuff. People, some people aren't even open to it. It's like too woo woo for them. But you know what? Consci oh, no. Consciousness <laughs> is <laughs> woo. Consciousness is full of woo. <laughs> Triple woo. Triple woo. Triple woo. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, wait till, so, wait till you leave this body, then you'll find out what woo, -woo is. <laughs> Actually, I've died three times. Yeah, okay. The last time out, I had the full-blown, to me, full-blown experience of the other side. Yeah. I look forward to passing. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, awesome. we have a mission, we have a reason for being here, and that's awesome to know, too, and to not be afraid of, you know, what's ahead, like... Afraid of it. <laughs> you afraid of your birthday presents, or what? <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Yeah. Right. Oh, so that, you're you're one of the me. fortunate ones. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I am. Did you send me the list of the foods that I'm not to eat? The sugar, the strawberries. Yes. Did you get that a report? Did you get a report? report? In did the you mail? get a report not yet? In the email. Email no. report? No. Okay. So we were w waiting, I guess, until we talked to you. We, we're switching that over. We oh, used to. Yeah. Right. We used to send the report out uh, ahead and then talk to people after, and we're just finding that. It, it gets people stressed, you know, where they can't, they, they're seeing something, they don't fully understand it, they have a question, and they got to wait for the answer. So we'd rather just like, okay, here's the whole thing, and you go, what does that mean? And we can tell you. <laughs> yeah, so it's so fascinating. Strawberries typically will show a reaction, not necessarily when the person has eaten it the day before, like a lot of food reactions, but where they've had it maybe even years before, but it was a severe reaction, and they usually know that, yeah, I know that I can't eat that. The roof of my mouth breaks out immediately. Yep. Oh. Walnuts, yep. pecans, strawberries. Yep. Just like swells up like a vein, just like great. Yeah. 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 Uh, so the other ones that showed reaction, I can't, uh, were. Oh, the foods was the yeast. Yeast, yeah. all kinds of yeast. Baby Brewers yeast. Uh, nutritional yeast nutritional too. Nutritional yeast yep. too, yes. So Ooh. that's something that you have been exposing yourself to. So, okay, there's something to fast from for sure. Whether you do a, a one-step only fast, you know, with your other remedies, which you're free to try, but I would feel it out one meal at a time. And if it's feeling good, you know, like our bodies are smart. <laughs> They're made by, you know, divine source. They, they have the divine intelligence. We have a little fractal when we separate ourselves from that and try to think we're in charge by ourselves without the connection, then, then that's when we can go off so trust your body and and you know your body feedback your intuition but i would do one meal at a time and you know you can go as long as you need to or want to with this you, if if you're going to do a lot you're going to need another bottle so just let us know if you find oh yeah i'm, I'm like going through this i'm going to want more otherwise if you're doing one meal like even one meal and for weight loss great to do it as a fast it, and one, one meal a day fast is is super you could do it maybe for dinner it's nice to not have undigested stuff, you know, when we're sleeping, because that's when it's kind of the worst time for putting on weight. Uh, so that way you have this clean digestive tract, totally supported for cleansing through like liver meridian time in the middle of the night. And liver governs that middle middle part of the body. So uh, weight gain, swelling in the in the gut area and Chinese medicine, they say is a liver issue, the, the middle burner. Uh, but you're not, try you're not trying to lose weight, are you? Well, I have belly fat. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. okay. Every place okay. else, I'm like stick thin. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. So and uh, I do get hungry at night, and I try not to eat. But could I take that? Like, if I was really hungry late in the evening, yeah. at any time, because Perfect. it's not gonna put any work on your digestive system, but it will give you the, you know, blood sugar support, the long-term energy support. Uh, it's the perfect thing to have. You could have, you know, a quarter or a half a scoop at bedtime or middle of the night, whenever you need it for that energy yeah. regulation. You may not have as much need for it by having it sometime during the day. It's gonna carry yeah. through, but if you do. Anytime you're hungry, that's the thing to reach for. Again, even and a small amount. It instead of breakfast, sometimes I'm not hungry in the morning. Yeah, like, I, I love, I, I love, personally, I, that's the time I love doing it. Breakfast, like, oh, I'm not quite, you know, 
in gear for digesting a bunch of stuff and and this you know puts no stress on the system but gives me the energy stability fabulous yep so you can play with that as far as time of day and, and see how that works out thank you uh you're welcome so uh the other food was sugar refined sugar well everybody should avoid that but with the yeast reacting and yeast grows on sugar that's you know that's a little ecosystem that we want to you know nip in the bud there was yeast like candida up it didn't show a candida reaction but when when you react to other kinds of yeast in the diet then yeah i consider it's kind of a candida terrain a candida diet is appropriate food rotation avoiding sweets even you know dried fruits how about, how about fresh fruit fresh fruit uh i think is fine at this point i don't see any indication that that's a problem um, okay. If you were in Hawaii, I'd say watch out for, you know, so many bananas and papayas from the backyard because it's just easy to, there's so much oh. sweet there and overdo that. But yeah, if you're not eating dried fruit and you're not eating a lot of bananas, you're probably not going to get too many papayas there, <laughs> unfortunately. No, we've got great like peaches and a little bit of cherries right now. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I go for that. Okay, good. Um, so that was the, that was the second layer, the top layer right on the surface was the kidneys. Um, and that was balanced by a superfood called Flavone Protect. It's basically like a jam that's uh, an extract from a, a range of different fruits. Uh, and uh, there may be vegetables in that one as well. Fruits and vegetables uh, organically grown in Hungary is where this is made. And they take the sugars out um, they, they add back in a tiny amount of sugar just, you know, I think to balance the flavor of it, you know, for people taking it because you take it on a spoon like, a, oh, it's such a treat. The flavor is just because <laughs> it's a pound, a pound and a half of, of fruits and vegetables extracted into a teaspoon. So you're going to take a, a little piece of a teaspoon twice a day and uh, other practitioners we learned about this from are saying that, that uh, like, a doctor working with live blood analysis, so you've seen the blood improving twice as fast as on other, you know, programs without this. So it's, it's a good accelerator. Okay. And it tastes uh, good. So you, you know, you got, you can get to have a shake and a and a yummy treat, and that's your your medicine. <laughs> like, wow, you're lucky. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Most people get you know a bunch of pills or you know drops. I love um, the liquid versions. Yeah, I, I, I really prefer, you know, liquids and even powders that you make into a liquid shake or, or a food form. Uh, we do still work with plenty of capsules and tablets just because certain nutrients, certain ingredients that the body may need, that's the, the most efficient way to, to, to do it. But uh, always looking for things like this Flavone that we just found in the last couple months and we're loving it so much ourselves. It's it's. You know, we look uh, forward to the time of day. Oh, is it time? Yeah, it's time. We get to have some. <laughs> Any special time of day particularly best? Um, just beginning and end of the day. Uh, Any time is fine. It doesn't have to be a particular time, but uh, kind of a divided so dose. Twice a day. Twice a day. Yep. Twice a day. Yep. So it's it's about the, the, the super easiest program that we ever wind up with. Again, my suspicion is you just are on it as far as what you're doing and we're fine tuning. So that's, yeah. that's nice. Can I ask you about water? Yes. Uh, do you know about alkaline water, micro water? I do. Do you, do you have I access have, to that? I have a Jupiter Melody. Great. Okay. Super. I've been drinking my water at nine for many years mm -hmm. until quite recently when I was talking with Aaron, my naturopath, and he said, hey, you know, that could be something for us to reconsider because if your urine isn't acidic enough, it won't kill the bacteria, which I keep getting the bacteria back. Right, okay. So I lowered it to seven for just a week. And um, today I put it back on eight. So I'm just Playing with not that. sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's reasonable to play with, uh, uh, you know, the... The, the reasoning on that for the urine pH. Um, he says my urine is typically a little high in pH. Okay. Okay. Yep. One thing, the on how does the Jupiter work? You set the pH and then it, it hits that target? 
and it's still yes. it, it's doing it by it's it's ionizing separating the the charges and then remixing to get that i don't know i wonder if it's remixing the two that would be ideal because you still have the micro water effect the smaller clusters okay the other way to do it but it's measuring for you which is great the other way to do yep. it would be to take the separate streams and then re-blend those and it still has the effect of being a a more active water for absorption and everything uh, you mean acid and alkaline water yeah the yeah oh. that's probably what they're doing inside the instrument rather than just turning down the the the, the charge i i don't know though for sure uh, I don't know either. Yeah, I wonder if there's somebody who's distributing the Jupiter units that could answer that question, maybe. I will look for a link. Yeah, if you find out, let me know. I'd, I'd be curious to know. And so we're asking if they're remixing the two waters inside the machine. Yeah, we, yeah when you change the pH, is it still, is it uh, taking the fully ionized water, uh, acid and alkaline, and remixing them to get that pH? Or is it reducing the the charge on the on the plates, or okay. speeding up? It's not speeding up the flow because you're setting it at a certain flow, right? You're not adjusting uh, the flow rate. Not adjusting the flow rate yeah. at all. So it's either adjusting the just, my yeah. guess, either adjusting the electrical charge on the on the plates on the platinum plates in there, or it's taking the two water streams and blending in some of the acid water to to bring the pH back down. I would guess that they're re-blending the water to get the pH, oh. uh, yeah. and that's great. That's that'd be perfect. If it's okay. not what they're doing, it's still fine. You know, I, I I go with the naturopathic opinion on that. Of given that your chief symptom that you're looking for relief from is is that recurrent uh, bacterial growth. The the yeah. uh, bacterial the uh, what's the 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 sugar uh, mannitol. Manos, D D D Manos. Do you know, do you know yes. about D Manos? I'm I, taking it. You're taking it. Okay, good. <laughs>